Hello everybody and welcome back. We're looking at question 16 now as we continue our walkthrough of the 2005 Cayley competition. The non-negative difference between two numbers A and B is A minus B or B minus A, whichever one is, is positive, which is everyone is greater than or equal to zero. So I guess non-negative, which I guess is what they said. Uh, for example, the non-negative difference between 24 and 64 is 40. So there's two differences here. With negative 40 and 40, we take the non-negative one, 40. In the sequence, 88, 24, 64, 40, 24, each number after the second is obtained by finding the non-negative difference between the two previous numbers. The sum of the first 100 numbers in this sequence is... Okay, all right. Um, well, I don't know a whole lot about this sequence, so when in doubt, I tend to try and just follow the rules, see if I can understand that, and, and see how the sequence goes. Now, I could probably write the sequence down here, but I'm going to give 16 the attention it deserves and uh, start it on a fresh piece of paper. So we got 88, and then it was what, uh, 24? Yeah, 24. Difference there is 64. Difference there is negative 40, which we then make positive 40. Then 24. Uh, 40 and 24, we get 16. 24 minus uh, 16 is 8. And then we get uh, 16 minus 8 is 8. And then we get 0. And then 8. And then 0 minus 8 is negative 8. So we make that non negative. And it looks like we're just going to keep going. All right, so they want the first hundred terms. So we've got uh, first term, second term, third term, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. And you'll notice now it's uh, every three it repeats. It's eight, eight, zero. We're going to keep doing. So this one will be sixteen, seventeen. This will be eighteen. So after after this cutoff, it repeats. And every multiple of 3 is 0. So we would keep going, and then we'd get to sort of 97, 98, and 99 will be 8, 8, because this one's got to be the 0. The 2 before it are 8s. And then 100 is, oops, flip those around. And then we get 8 where 100 should be. So the 100th term is 8. All right, but we want the sum here. So let's break it down into counting the how many repeats there are and then adding up everything other than the repeats. So the non-repeats are everything here. So 88 plus 24, I'm going to grab my, grab my calculator for this. 88 plus 24 plus 64 plus 40 plus 24 plus 16 plus this 8 down here. So 264 for the non-repeating non parts. And then we have groups of three. Well, how many of these groups of three? Now, each of them adds up to 16. So how many 16s am I adding? Well, um, between 9 and 15, we've got uh, three groups. 15 minus 9 is 6. Divide that by 2, we get 2. Uh, between 18 and 9, we have 4 groups of 16. 18 minus 9 is 9. Divide that by 3, we get 4. So between 99 and 9, uh, we'll divide that by 3, and we'll add 1 to get the total number of groups. So this will be 90 over 3 plus 1. So this will be 30 plus 1. So we'll have 31 groups of 8, 8, 0. Each of those contributing 16 to the sum. So we'll have 264 plus 31 sixteens. And hopefully that'll turn out to be one of the possible answers. So I get 760. And let's see, 760, is that one of the answers? Uh, yes, there it is. B, 760. Now, if we take a look at some of the other answers, so we, we get D 
if we added on an additional 16. We'd get C if we forgot that little 8 at the end. So it's some very interesting uh, ways to get some of the other numbers. Not quite sure how you would uh, mess it up and get 405 or 460 or, four, or 496. But it's, it's always interesting to stop and consider how could I get the other answers. Puts you in the mindset of a contest maker. Anyway, uh, we got uh, question 17 on deck, so we'll take care of that in the next video. Thanks for watching.